Comrades, today, we're revealing into the real story behind Julius Malima's security team, the cost, the controversy, and the questions it raises for our nation. Ever wondered what it takes to protect one of South Africa's most defiant political voices? This isn't just about security. It's a look at what South African taxpayers fund and the stakes for Malema's political life. Let's get into it. Even for those close to him, Malema's security is a tight operation. Recently, in an interview with Mac G, Malema shared how his security detail has stopped people like radio personalities Mac G and TBO Touch, even when they were invited. Listen to how he describes this strict protocol. They, they did that the same thing to us now. Well, yeah. to me, when I was trying to park downstairs here, yeah. the guys with the guns. Yeah. I'm like, I'm here to interview Julius. They're like, I went, I'm a <laughs> and they did the same thing to Tibo Touch yesterday. He was coming to see me. Yeah. We agreed we were going to have lunch here. Yeah. For some reason, I got into a meeting. Yeah. He doesn't communicate that I'm on my way. He goes to the reception. They said, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And then he says, no, Vuyan. They say, no, they are all in a meeting. So you can't see them. So he thinks they don't know him. Yeah. Then he, you know what? Let me leave these people. Eh. He says, "No, okay, thank you, bye." But Tibos, <laughs> can we take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> they are just saying to him, "We are not fighting yeah. with you. We are just doing our job. We love you so much, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't pass." <laughs> These aren't random bodyguards. These are highly trained officers from the SAPE's VIP Protection Unit, paid with public money to keep Malema safe from what are described as credible threats. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The cost of Malema's security team? 316,823 Rand for just five months. That's over 60,000 Rand a month. But what exactly does that money cover? Here's what we know. The funds go toward constant travel, accommodation, and other essentials to maintain Malema's security team. Trained in crowd control, counter-surveillance, and quick tactical responses, these officers aren't just there for show. Their role? Keep Malema secure, at rallies, in public spaces, and during sensitive meetings. And it's all funded by South African taxpayers, while Malema continues to critique the state itself. Think about that. This security unit operates like a military. Their tactics are precise, strategic. In the chaos of a rally, they set up what's known as a diamond formation. Malema at the center, surrounded on all sides by officers. If tensions rise, this formation is the first line of defense against potential threats. They've got backup teams, quick exit routes, and even crowd dispersal strategies. And here's why. As the leader of the EFF, Malema isn't just another politician. He's a figure marked by both admiration and controversy. The state argues that without these highly trained officers, Malema's outspoken views make him a target for those who want to see him silenced. But this isn't just about security. It's a political firestorm. Malema's critics say it's hypocritical that he benefits from state-funded protection while calling for economic reform against what he calls white monopoly capital and denouncing the same government that provides his security. The DA, a party often critical of Malema, argues that taxpayers shouldn't foot the bill for a politician who claims to stand against government inefficiency. Yet the state justifies these expenses, citing credible threats from right-wing groups and hostile factions who feel threatened by Malema's mission for economic justice. So here's the real question for all South Africans. Is this security just a necessary measure to keep Malema alive, or is it a misuse of public money? And if the threats are real, what does that say about the state of our politics? We've reached a point where outspoken voices like Malema's face Serious danger for merely calling out inequality. For Malema, security isn't just a luxury, it's survival. His views, from dismantling racial economic disparities to calling for land reform, challenge powerful interests, and powerful interests have powerful reactions. His security isn't just a matter of convenience, it's a matter of facing down threats, perhaps even plots, against his life and ideals. Are these forces truly that afraid of what he stands for? Analysts say Malema's security raises a fundamental issue. 
Is it a signal of his influence or a sign of a deep fracture in our democracy? The very fact that he requires this level of protection speaks volumes about the lengths those in power will go to keep voices like his controlled. But Malema remains unfazed. His mission continues, and so does the demand for justice. Even as the state allocates 316,823 rand to protect him, Malema is still Malema, unapologetic, fearless, and fiercely committed to his cause. So, South Africans, here's where we stand. This isn't just about one man's security. It's about who holds the power in South Africa and what they fear most. If protecting Malema costs us 316,823 rand, what does that say about the price of real change? And if you think this is just the beginning, you're right. The question isn't just whether Malema deserves this protection. It's whether South Africa is ready to stand with him, with or without the government's help. So let's hear it. Do you think this security detail is justified? Is this protection a shield for South Africa's future or just another layer of hypocrisy in our politics? Let us know what you think, comrades. And as always, stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay ready. You see, so death is nothing. Mm. Nobody threatens me with death. Okay. So what do you have bodyguards then? It's for order. Because not being scared to die should not be confused for suicide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to commit suicide. You, I'm not going to die a coward. Where yeah. I'm just found with the Lord God. No. Yeah. When a fight comes, it must find me prepared. <laughs> and then we must take it toe for toe. Yeah. Ah, don't die like you're found in a bottle store. <laughs> <laughs>